Argumentative and alternative communication is a cornerstone of my practice. And in honor of AAC Awareness Month, I sat down with Nadine, mother to Christopher and Christian, twins who are nonverbal with autism. Together we talked about her success using AAC technology. They're capable of using different smartphones and devices and iPad. It's a different generation. So um, when we realized Proloquome might be a device that might be suitable for them, um, we found you. <laughs> yeah. And it's been a year, and it's made a world of a difference. It actually was a breakthrough for us. The eye contact emerged because they knew, you understand me now. We're in with PEX. I'm guessing because this is the only option I have. You're giving me two options in a field of how many, but that thing I want is not in there. It might be something like a tangible object. It might be something like a verb or a activity or action. It might be just mommy and then I'm not in that pex. But with um, Proloco and um, these devices, you can take a picture immediately. You can have that right there for your child to use and you both will be communicating it's not just him communicating, but I will go and use the Proloco, and he realized this is the way we can communicate. We have that bond now, that bond that was never there for the past six years. They're, they're turning seven soon. Um, they can express themselves when they're happy. They can ask for mom and say, mom, hug. Whereas before, it's like they will just seek it to you, and you don't know what they're, they're asking because it's just through gestures and it's it's guessing. We feel that we can reciprocate our, our own conversation, whether it be protocol, but we're pairing it with sounds, words, and gestures along with that. So it's just multimodal. And if we, if we help the boys with um, communication, then we can help them with everything else. And that's how I see it. To get started using AAC, visit my website to learn more.